to kick off the keynotes to start with a message from the legal team. That just, you know, a great way to crush your keynote. But I've been told I get a little excited during these keynotes, so please make all your decisions based on what's in the currently shipping product. And with that, let's move on. First, I need to say thank you. I need to say thank you to everyone here. Without you, without your passion, without your feedback, we would not be here today, and I just need to say thanks. It's been awe-inspiring what you guys have helped us do. Thank you. And I also need to thank you to all the Community Cloud Trailblazers. We have been doing this for four years. We launched in 2013, and we have been connecting customers all over the world across all different industries and companies large and small. And now you have connected over 200 million active community members into this platform. Thank you, Community Cloud Trailblazers. What an amazing, amazing milestone. As a product leader, I couldn't be more proud of what we have accomplished together. And there's no better way to tell a story than with your customers. And we have three great Community Cloud Trailblazers here today. Farmers Insurance, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and Ducati are here to tell their stories, and we are gonna have a lot of fun telling those stories. And I gotta tell you, you need to pay extra special attention to the Ducati presentation, because they have something very special called the Ducati Experience that they're going to reveal today. So stay tuned. Now, why are we all here? Why are we at Dreamforce? And I tell you, there is a change going on. I think we all know it. It's called the Fourth Industrial Revolution, and it's being led by artificial intelligence. There is a big change going on. I know our history lesson here, there's things like the steam engine. It all started there. Mass production, electricity. And if you're in my era, obviously, in computing and all the changes are going on, but there's been a big change going on with AI. And I tell you, the customers are expecting a whole new set of experiences right now. They're expecting things that are smart, friction-free, always on and connected. I mean, if you think about what's happening today in the market, think about a Tesla. The car drives itself. Amazon has completely reshaped the shopping experience. And Fitbit, I mean, it's not a tracker. It's a global community inspiring you and driving you to help you reach your goals. Customers are expecting a whole new level of experience. Now, I have the coolest job in the world. I get to go and meet with all of you all the time. And customers tell me three things. They say, hey, one, how do I build an awesome customer experience? Two, it has to look like my brand. It has to be pixel perfect. It has to look awesome. And three, I need to get it done really fast. Help me bridge that gap. Help me get over to there where that customer is. They're smart, always on and connected. That's where I need to go. I need to seize that next opportunity. And that's what the customer success platform is at Salesforce. For 18 years, we have been building this platform driven by your input, where we have awesome things like Trailhead, Einstein, and Lightning helping drive the next level of success. And our market-leading apps like sales, service, commerce, and marketing cloud all working together to help you realize that next opportunity. Now, at the center of it all, is Community Cloud. This is our product, this is what you guys have helped us build, and it's there to connect your CRM to your customers, partners, employees. Community Cloud builds those digital experiences. That's what we have done together, and it is really, really cool. And I tell you, we have so many great stories to tell at Community Cloud. There's no better way to tell what you do with Community Cloud than through our customers. Like for example, Adidas. Adidas with B2B Commerce, they are connecting thousands of retailers together where those retailers can go and reorder their products, get their fall, winter, spring lines. They can get support. They can get their latest marketing information. Or Cisco. Cisco put together an employee portal for disaster recovery for Hurricanes Irma and Harvey where employees could go and get help and give help. And they built it in 24 hours. How amazing is that? And then Western Union, which I love this story, Western Union has reimagined their whole business using Salesforce and Community Cloud. They built a marketplace to connect payers and payees together, taking advantage of all the latest technology to help drive their business to the next level. So many different stories. Now, how do you get there? How do you get there fast? Well, there's two great ways. One 
is what we call Lightning Community Builder. It is declarative, drag and drop, and it hooks you right into CRM so you can build those experiences. And two, we have a global network of partners who've been building Lightning Bolt solutions. A Lightning Bolt solution, think of it this way, it's templates and themes and brands. It's kind of like if you went to a website builder and you said, oh, I want to start a website, we let you build a website that's mobile responsive, but it's hooked right to CRM, it has business logic, and it gets you jump-started fast. And now it's on the App Exchange under the Bolt store. Okay. And you do all this with the world's number one community platform right here. It lets you build your customer portals, your self-service communities, your forums, your employee intranets, help desks, connect your dealers together into a PRM solution. All this is done with Community Cloud. Now, you all know that Salesforce, we do three releases a year. And we have done an unbelievable job this year. I couldn't be more proud of our engineering product teams. The best engineering we've done, and we've unleashed a whole new wave of innovation that we are gonna show you today. Cannot wait to show this off. And the best way to do this is with our customers and Farmers Insurance. And they're here today to help us tell your story. Farmers has been connecting to their customers in a whole new way using Sales Cloud or Service Cloud, our customer portal, and something new that I'm going to show you called Lightning Flow. Now, first, let's watch a video. Let's cue up that video. Farmers is based around agents in communities knowing customers. And it has been there for customers for 88 years. Insurance is emotional. It's about protecting the things that matter most in your life. I started uh, in the insurance business as a claims adjuster. There's lifelong relationships that are formed. We're trying to create fantastic relationships between our customers and our agents, and we're trying to do everything we can with technology to support that relationship. When I started in the industry, Everything was handwritten. And then it was the ability to type, call an 800 number, and the average time to report a first notice of loss was about 12 minutes. Expectations have changed, and we have to deliver our services in a different way. Salesforce can help us expand our view and really think about how we can imagine the future and how we can serve our customers better. The collaboration with Salesforce was critical because our redesign of how we look at taking a first notice of loss, that's completely compressed that experience into a couple minutes and has really enabled a customer to feel more part of the process and it produces the exact same outcome. I don't think we're in a world anymore where you have the business and you have IT. We are all working together to achieve the same goals of providing the best experience for our customers that's possible. When a customer buys into your brand, when they buy into Farmers, they're buying into that value proposition, and they're also buying into the community. And what Community Cloud provides us is the ability to grow and expand with the need on each and every interaction, whether it's on a mobile app or whether it's actually in person. But it also provides us an ecosystem to learn. There's a lot of conversations that happen where my Farmers IT group understands what's going on even outside of our industry to make our industry even better. Bringing all of those things together to actually think about how the customer experiences us through whatever the particular journey is, is incredibly powerful. We're in an on-demand world now and we need technology to help accelerate those relationships and at the end of the day, deliver for our customers. Awesome. How cool is that? Farmer Insurance, 89 year old company. I love the passion connecting to the customers. Now, let me tell you about something new we call Lightning Flow that's going to help farmers connect to their customers even faster. Let me introduce this. So, Lightning Flow is processes, it's business processes that you can embed inside a community cloud, service cloud, any Lightning app. Now, a business process could be, you know, I'm sure we all use them every day change a beneficiary, add a driver, change my uh, account. These are processes, and we use Lightning to build very visual, engaging processes all on our process automation platform. And you probably don't know this, but today we process over 100 billion process actions every month on our platform. And with the addition of Lightning Flow, you can now build these very visual, engaging your customers, and you can embed them in any experience. 
Now, there's no better way to show this off than just to do a demo. Let's get Anna up here, and Anna's gonna show a demo of how farmers, a vision of how farmers can take this to the next level. Anna, come on up here. Thank you. All right, Anna. Thank you. Um, so I am so excited to show all of you how Farmers engages every single customer. And today we're actually going to be focusing on one customer in particular. Her name is Stacy, and Stacy is a mom of a 16 year old who just got her driver's license. So Stacy happens to be a very cool mom and she got her daughter a car. But before she hands over those keys, she wants to make sure that both the car and her daughter are insured. So what's the first thing she does? Well, she pulls out her phone and goes to the farmer's self-service portal. Here we can see a beautiful branded experience and it's personalized. She can see registered vehicles, her policy, recent activity. And if we go up to the top, she can take action. Now today she's going to add a car. So she taps add a car and she's able to add information about this 2015 Subaru Outback. Um, which she's very excited about. It's actually a really nice car for a 16-year-old. I'm pretty sure that I didn't get a car at all. So she's adding in the information about the car, um, and she's also able to take a photo of the VIN number and upload that as well. She clicks Submit, and she's done. Super easy. And right there, embedded in that customer self-service experience. Adding a car is one thing. Adding your daughter can be a little bit emotional. This is a big step, and she wants to make sure that she gets it right. So what she's able to do is reach out to a customer service representative through Live Agent embedded right in this portal experience. Uh, Jason is a customer service representative. They talk back and forth and he's like, you know what, Stacy, I've got you covered. I'm gonna help get your daughter covered. It's insurance humor. Um, and just a few minutes, uh, I'm gonna make sure that your daughter has the insurance coverage she needs. So how is Jason able to do that so quickly? Let's take a look at what he sees. Now, this is the service console that is customized for a customer service representative like Jason. He's got a 360 degree view of the customer. And if I can direct your attention to the upper right, he's got Community 360. This lets him know which article Stacy might have read in the community experience or if she's asked any questions to make sure that their conversation is super relevant. But today he's adding a driver, so he taps Add Driver. He fills in the basic information, first name, last name, relationship. And when he clicks next, after he gets her birthday in there, and by the way, these are the demo drivers who are making this happen, our demo DJs, DJ Peter White and DJ uh, David Green. They look amazing. Um, so she, he, Jason entered in the information, and what does he see when he clicks next? A prompt, which car will Hannah be driving? And, well, it's not gonna be the Tesla, and she didn't get her motorcycle license, so it's not going to be the Ducati. Um, but we see that Subaru Outback that Stacy just added in the customer self-service experience available here. And the reason we have this seamless customer record is because it's all on one platform. So he selects the Subaru Outback and the driver has been added. Um, there's a lot of people in this room. Some of you might be wondering, how hard is it to add a process? Does it take a lot of code or is it simple? Well, Mike introduced Lightning Flow, which is process automation built on the Salesforce platform. And it uses all the power of Lightning and components to make it easy to drag processes into the experience. So I'm gonna show, go to the Lightning Community Builder. Um, and here we see that customer experience. We see the layout down the middle. On the upper left in the community builder, we can see the ability to add components. We can see, a, let's check out the branding panel too. Yeah, you can change the colors, you can change the logo, we won't do that. But uh, if you go to the Lightning Components and search for Flow, you are able to see the new Flow component. And dragging that component on, we are then able to select the process that we want to add. We've already added a driver, we've already added a car. Good student discount. Uh, Stacy just bought a pretty expensive car, she's gonna need uh, some money back. And just like that, it has been published to the community. So let's go back to the portal. Here we have the same portal, but with a new process. And let's go ahead, let's get that student discount, right? So we tap into good student discount. All of Hannah's information is pre-populated right there. Does Hannah have over a 3.0 GPA? Obviously, we click yes. 
And we then go to the next step where a farmer says, you know what, that's great, but we'd like, we'd like for you to verify that. Please give us your report card. So like any good parent, Stacey has that in her photo library. She gets Hannah's report card. Uh, she's taking BC calculus and organic chemistry, really advanced for a 16-year-old. Um, we click submit, and just like that, the process is completed good grades really do pay off. What we've seen today is how Farmers does an incredible job of engaging their customers, and also how Lightning Flow will help all of you engage your customers as well. Back to you, Mike. How cool was that? Way to go. I love the demo DJs. You know, let's have Ron Gurrier come up here. Ron, come on up here, and you tell us a little about what's going on. We need the experts now. You saw Anna do it. Um, so, 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 Ron? Yes. First, just tell everybody a little bit about this project and what you guys have been doing with Salesforce. It's a great question. Well, thanks, Mike, for giving us this opportunity to tell our story, uh, continue the conversation. Last year, our CEO, Jeff Daly, was on stage talking about it. So to be able to continue the conversation is great. And Anna, great job. Uh, round of applause for Anna. Great yeah, job. that was awesome. That was awesome. It's not, it's not easy. So quickly, Farmers is 90 years young, is the way I put it. Um, two World War I vets started insuring farmers down in Southern California, opened an office in LA. And through strategic acquisitions, we grew and grew and grew. But the technology didn't keep up with the growing, as you would understand. Everything was sil siloed, and how we engaged the customer was kind of bifurcated. And so what we were looking for is a platform that looks across other parts of the lines of business, which is very important. So we started the journey a couple years ago, doubling down on that and improving our processes along the way. Uh, and the last thing I'll say to that is that we are customer-centric, agent-powered. It's very important to us. And customer centricity is driving a lot of the stuff we're doing today. It's amazing, that journey. I mean, I've learned a lot talking to you and your team. Kai and Ali, Ali have been great. You know, what I get asked by a lot of folks all the time is, what are the key lessons and learnings that you get from a project like this? Maybe you could share one or two of those. The biggest learn, and again, this is a tech conference, but I'm going to talk about something that's not even technology-based. It's the psychology of change. Well, there's a lot of change going on, disruptions about us, and so our goal is to make sure we disrupt ourselves. We have to. The industry, insurance industry is changing. A customer's needs are changing. Um, the combat on your phone, uh, who I, um, the experience is very important for us. So we have to make sure we get that right. The other part is getting the business peers to really understand. Yep. Amanda spoke of that. Jeff Daly has spoken about that. But for me, as a CIO, biggest win is when I'm sitting in the room and the business is debating technology, they understand it, and the conversation is more about how do we execute, execute upon it. At that day, I'm just sitting there, jokingly as eye candy, as they debate that, and I'm just sitting there drinking a latte and enjoying my day. <laughs> that's, the way I, that's how I do it. <laughs> <laughs> so last question. Yes. What's next? Oh, there's a lot going on right now. We're working on um, a lot of innovation. We're working on different things. You know, after Hurricane Harvey, we learned from that experience. We deployed drone technology out there to kind of survey. After Irma as well, the fires in the area. So what we're doing at Farmers, is we're constantly evolving and changing. We're making the right investments. And the three things I'll say that's very important to us is we need a simple platform, something that's easy to use, configurable. The second thing is we need something that's trusted. Availability, optimization but trusted data, very top of mind. And the third one is the systems have to be proactive and personal. My son also just started driving, turned 16. He doesn't know where he puts his shoes, but I trust him to drive to school. It's a weird feeling. <laughs> um, but with that being said, online, if I post that I'm, he's driving, my farmer's agent that has a trusted relationship with me knows that. So how do I make that whole community support me in what I need to do? That's really great feedback. Thanks. Ron, thank you for being here and sharing your story. Thank you. It's really been a lot of fun. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Ron. All right, our next story, and this is gonna be really cool, is with the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and they are doing some super cool things. I'm sure you've heard about them, but what we're gonna talk today is about their education initiative, and they've been spending hundreds of millions of dollars on education research to help students' success in post-secondary education. And we're gonna talk a little bit about today about how they're using Community Cloud, self-service community, and something new called Einstein Answers to connect those educators with all of that great research. Now, today, for the first time, really, we're gonna talk about something called Einstein Answers. We have been working on this for at least two plus years, and it is a personal passion of mine, and I'll tell you why. I know that getting a community started, particularly one that's connecting people together, can be hard. You have to drive engagement. 
right? And there's always a lot of great experts there. There's a lot of great conversation. Maybe there's a lot of great articles and knowledge. But how do you connect it together? And it can be tricky to get that all going at the right time. We introduced Einstein Answers, which is artificial intelligence that's there in your community to answer questions. Using those conversations, that knowledge research, and all your CRM data to help connect the dots. Now, I think the best way to talk about Einstein in our community is to bring Heather Hiles and Kimberly Phillips up here and let's talk about what the Gates Foundation is doing and then we're gonna show you an example. So Heather and Kimberly, in case a lot of folks may not be familiar with what you guys are working on, could you tell everybody about you know, what's going on? Oh yeah, we forgot the microphones. <laughs> Hi, thanks for having us. Uh, so the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation does a lot of amazing things all over the world. Specifically though with US programs, we focus on American-based education. And our team is working and focused on post-secondary success. So that means we're trying to help make sure people um, who have the option and inclination to get a college credential can get a college degree and be prepared for uh, the future of new economy jobs. So right now we know probably um, on the low side of the estimation, at least 11 million people by the year 2025 will find themselves on the wrong end of being prepared for new economy jobs unless we do something different. And so we at the foundation are really investing in helping colleges and universities graduate more folks and prepare people for the new jobs that are coming online. You told me uh, a little bit about how much money you guys are investing. It's yeah. An unbelievable stat. Yeah, so we've, we've invested about $900 million just in post-secondary success right now. And we're not finished yet, honestly. Um, so when all is said and done, we'll probably have invested over a billion dollars. And then our K-12 colleagues have, um, well, Bill just announced a, a commitment of $2 billion more for K-12 education. Thank you, Bill. Yeah. Kimberly? Thank you, Bill and Melinda. Tell us how you're putting this together. Yeah. So this community is a place where we can share information and drive collaboration across our network. We have a national audience of higher ed institutions and partners that can now share knowledge and expertise while they're innovating together. It's pretty impressive. Our goal for this community is to actually um, ensure that every practitioner has the opportunity to um, connect. Connect, basically, yes. And to do so with the information they want as quickly and fast as possible. And we want to connect all that great research to all these educators. And so today, what we did, and we're going to show it right now, uh, DJ Peter, can you pull that demo up? I want to show you an example, kind of a vision of how we can use Einstein Answers to do this. Awesome. So this is your education community, and let's click on the digital learning topic. And we'll jump into that topic. Uh, it's obviously a very busy topic. I think a lot of people have questions about this area, lots of people following it, the experts. And Peter, let's ask a question. I'm sure all of us have done this at some point. You've went to a forum somewhere, you asked a question looking for an answer. And I have a question, this is one you told me about, like what's the right mix of in-person education versus online? And so we'll ask that question, and what's happening behind the scenes is Einstein is looking for the answer. Einstein is combing through all of that research, and here it comes the answer, and it's not necessarily another conversation, it's connecting the answer from the knowledge article that you guys produce. Let's go into that knowledge article, Peter. This is using the latest techniques in deep learning and machine learning, and what it does is it actually finds the actual answer and highlights it in the article so that the educator knows exactly where to look. So, Peter, can you go back? What do you guys think about that? Mike, that's amazing. I'm really excited to implement that when it's ready. Well, you know, I guess what? It's in pilot today, so <laughs> you're gonna be on the pilot, I guarantee you, especially since you're here today with us. But it does one more thing, and that is there's really three pieces here. It looks for answers, but it also identifies experts because we wanna connect not only the research, we want the practical implementation of that. And so we found an expert called Yuri Minky, and of course, because it's a community, you can connect with Yuri so that we can build knowledge with all of your experts to augment that primary research you're doing. That's Einstein Answers, great. That's incredible. 
You know, the power of machine learning really excites us. We are so excited to ensure that we leverage this by connecting as many people to as much information as possible so that our systems get smarter, our practitioners get smarter, and our students become successful. And your practitioners can spend more time doing what we want them to do, is helping those students be successful. And, and that time is the essential essence, uh, essential issue here for us. You know, educators, students, none of us have enough time, advisors, et cetera. And so the faster we can bring the best information about the highest fidelity implementations of digital learning or other kinds of important practices, the better. This is great. Yep. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Been awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So I talked about Einstein Answers, which we, you can tell, are very passionate and excited about, and our engineering team has done an unbelievable job bringing that forward. But Einstein has been part of Community Cloud since day one. We've been able to identify top questions. We deliver over 100 million recommendations every week on the platform. And this year, we're gonna introduce, in addition to answers, is sentiment analysis. So you can take the pulse of your community, your users, and your content all pulled together. This is gonna be the power of Einstein. I think it's gonna revolutionize how you connect with your customers, partners, and employees. Einstein has also been part of the employee community journey from day one. Now, we have a long, rich history in building and connecting employees, employee social intranets, employee help desks, and this year, we are introducing two super cool things. First is Quip, and the secondly is My Salesforce. So let me explain. How many people here have heard of Quip? I hope a lot of you have heard it. Look, look at all those hands. Quip is an amazing team collaboration platform built around documents. I mean, we planned our entire Dreamforce on it and we've hooked it right into the heart of the employee community, Chatter, and Salesforce. So you can connect that real-time document collaboration with everybody. So your team can jump on and know exactly what they're doing in that context. And secondly, I'm sure we've all used Salesforce One, which is now My Salesforce. How awesome would it be to have your own My Salesforce with your brand and your features? And that's what My Salesforce is. We will help you, we will create this with you, and you can publish it, or we will publish it for you, out to the app stores, right? And now your employees can have their own My Salesforce, but with your brand and your features. Super excited about this. I've had so many people ask me about this over the years, and our mobile team has put this together. It's fantastic. Okay, now, our last story for today is our friends at Ducati. And Ducati is using the full spectrum of Community Cloud. And it starts with connecting their hundreds of dealers together so to make sure they can sell more of their awesome motorcycles, as well as connecting all of those enthusiasts and those owners together in a community to promote and reinforce what they're doing. And with this, they're gonna be using two amazing new capabilities that we've put together. And the first is dynamic theming and audience targeting. So Anna showed you a little bit about this, and I talked about it before, but we have something called <clears throat> the Lightning Community Builder. And this is everything you need to build these pixel-perfect experiences, from out-of-the-box templates with layouts to all the Lightning components so you can build it right into the CRM system and just drag it onto the page. Our CMS Connect, which is new this year, where you can hook it to your existing CMS system and bring your branding assets so you don't have to copy those over and get started even faster. And now, with audience targeting and dynamic theming, you control the look and feel based on who's coming to the community against their CRM profile. And we're gonna show you this in the Ducati demo. And finally, we have an out-of-the-box CDN to make sure you have speedy global performance. All this put together in the Lightning Community Builder to make sure you can build that pixel-perfect experience. And the second big thing is, now that you have an awesome experience with communities, why don't we hook it to Marketing Cloud so you can drive engagement? And that's what we've done, introducing Community Cloud plus Marketing Cloud. We've hooked them together so you can build personalized journeys on your community with Marketing Cloud. So think of it this way. Somebody joins a community, I can send them a welcome journey or maybe remind them to come back or maybe notify them that something really cool has just happened. In addition to that, I can package up journeys into a campaign and give them to my partners or my dealers so they can run those campaigns with a full power of Salesforce, Community Cloud, and Marketing Cloud together. 
Now again, there's no better way to show this than do a demo. So let's get Anna back up here and let's show you an awesome demo of how Ducati is using Community Cloud and Salesforce. Anna? Yes, thank you, Mike. Super exciting. So um, I think most of the people in this room have heard of Ducati. It is an amazing world-recognized brand. Um, and I'm so excited to show you exactly how Ducati is able to take that brand, bring it to life, connect it to every single customer one-on-one, -on -one, and then partner with a global network of dealers to get to market. So let's go ahead and pull up the demo. Now, today I will be playing the role of Sophia, who has the pleasure of managing a Ducati dealership, Ducati Mountain View. And every day I go to my Ducati dealer portal. It gives me a complete view of my business. I can take a look at my sales by month, my customer sales index, or even sales by category, my product mix. So let's take a look at how bike sales are doing. And I'm a little disappointed because we did all right in June, but the last few months I've been struggling a little bit. And November is my opportunity to hit all of my targets and become really successful. And what's lucky for me is that I have a secret weapon. Um, it's under the tarp, uh, for those of you wondering. But that secret weapon is, for the Ducati fans in the room who already know, is that Ducati launched an incredible product yesterday, the Multistrada 1260. Now, the Multistrada 1260 is a bike that is designed for travel and touring, and it is perfect for Northern California. I know that when it gets onto my lot and customers see it, it's basically just going to drive itself off. But the key thing for me is how do I make sure that I get the word out? Well, what's great is that the marketers at Ducati HQ have created a packaged campaign that I can execute locally. Let's check it out. So the first thing they've given me is some guidance. What is this campaign all about? How do I execute it? And there's a little bit of a sneak preview. You know, here's what an email looks like. Here's what a community or a text message might look like. So it's great. I feel really comfortable. The next thing I have to do is build my target audience. So Multistrada 1260, highly anticipated bike. It's designed for touring and travel. Well, this is the perfect upgrade bike. So I'm going to go ahead and select existing travel riders. The next kind of rider I have is, uh, that I think is gonna be actually perfect, are the riders who take their bikes like a Panigale onto a racetrack. These are sports enthusiasts, and a Panigale is beautiful if you wanna take it around a track, but you might not necessarily wanna take it on the open road. So this is a cross-sell opportunity. So I select the sports riders, and just like that, I've started to build out my list. It's got some prospects, some customers, and a huge sales revenue opportunity. Now, if I wanted to, I could customize the campaign a little bit, add a value-added statement, or I can launch from here. Now, some of the marketers in the room might be wondering, like, how, like, what's, what's under the hood of this? So really, the reason it's possible to have a sophisticated campaign is because this campaign is, uh, is brought to life with the full power of marketing cloud. It is complete, it is sophisticated, its first stop, which I will point out again later, is a, is a text message. But really, this campaign is not something that I, as a Ducati dealer, would necessarily um, be able to craft on my own. However, the marketing experts have been able to package it, deliver a turnkey solution for me to make it easy and simple to execute. There's more. Not only am I able to execute a local campaign, Ducati has given me the ability to ensure that every single touch point on that journey is personalized. So for example, let's say a uh, prospect visits a Ducati community. It's beautiful, it's branded, they can find local events, go to a Ducati store, find a dealer. But what happens when they log in? As soon as someone authenticates into that experience, this is the audience targeting, by the way, that Mike was talking about. As soon as they log in, the experience becomes tailored for them. Now, this is a Panigale rider, so we see that the entire experience is focused on racing. We see his or her IoT data with that bike, the odometer, when the next service visit should be, discussions that are tailored for that Panigale rider as well, all of it personalized to him. And we see that the entire look and feel has changed as well. And that's the dynamic theming. So, do you guys want to see what this customer journey looks like from end to end? Yes? Okay. Let's see. 
Ciao, ciao, ciao. This is Paolo here in the back of the room. Hey. <laughs> Italian by birth, Ducati lover since I was 16 years old, but I'm not the star here. This baby is the star here. Isn't she pretty? Look at this. <laughs> this is the Panigale final edition. Let me tell you a little bit about this bike. It was actually launched in California in Pebble Beach three months ago on July 7th. I was there and I saw it and I had to buy it. I mean, look at there, right? So I've been riding and enjoying this, this ride so much. But yesterday, as you, some of you may know, actually Ducati launched the new line for uh, 2018. And there is this bike. I really, you know, catch my eye. And that's called the Multistrada 1260. That's an amazing bike. I'm a track rider, but I enjoy the canyons as well. And the Multistrada feels like the perfect bike for me. So here's this. Somehow, this morning, I received a text message on my phone. You can see it right there. And I tapped on it. And guess what happens? It's actually Ducati inviting me 24 hours after the announcement is inviting me to ride, to test ride the new Multistrada. I'm all about it. I'm tap on it, and I log in into the community experience, which is tailored for me as a Panigale rider. It's actually right there. You see it. But there's a notification there. Let me tap on the notification and see what happens. They invite me to, to do the test ride. I tap on it, and I fill out the form. It's actually for right now. I'm just going to go right now to actually test drive this. And I'm definitely bringing a friend along because, you know, just in case I buy it, someone else has to ride the other bike back home, right? <laughs> I add it to, the, to, to my calendar and I just go straight to, uh, to the Mountain View dealer, right? And of course, Sophia is, is an amazing dealer. And she already prepared the bike for me. She knows she, I'm coming. And the bike is right there. Do you guys actually want to see this baby? Are you excited about this? Drum roll, please. Voila! Isn't she pretty? This is just perfect. I love this. It's so beautiful, right? I have to have it. I don't even test ride it. I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> right? Apparently, I have that kind of money. And <laughs> just kidding. It's a fantastic bike. What happens here? I'm just going to go. I'm going to go for my first ride. I'm going to go around the North California. And then I'm so excited. I love it so much. I'm, I actually want to share all my experience in the, in the Ducatista community, right? So what happens at this point? I pick up my phone. And as soon as I pick up my phone, there it is. Dynamic theming. Now the entire community experience is tailored for the new Multistrada. Isn't it great? This is how powerful the, is, the community cloud is. Not just that. Through, this is a smart bike connected to my, to my smartphone. The entire ride is already downloaded in the community, and I can share it with my Ducatistas. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to even invite them for a ride for next weekend. We're going to go to eat at uh, Alice's restaurant, right, which is a popular spot for... Uh, uh, for the riders, right? Isn't it amazing? This is so smart. This is fantastic. And there's more. Because not only is Paulo the happy owner of a Multistrada 1260, but as the Ducati dealer, let's go ahead and refresh and see, see what this has meant for me. Oh my gosh, in one day, I have hit all of my sales targets. <laughs> um, it's so good. High five. There you are. Um, but this is what happens when you bring the power of an amazing brand, an amazing product, and amazing campaigns together. Thank you. It is fantastic, guys. This is amazing. It doesn't actually look like, but I do build products for Salesforce as well. But there is a person I really want you to see on stage, and we're going to invite uh, in a second to talk. He's actually the brain behind this whole architecture, this whole vision. And uh, directly from Borgo Panigale, Bologna, we have the pleasure to have former CIO of Ferrari, now CIO of Ducati, Pier Giorgio Grossi. Give me a hand, please. Thank you for buying the bike, by the way. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> you want yeah, another one? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. It's great. 
So, first question, how many bikes can you give me for free? <laughs> <laughs> for free? All right. So, here's, uh, here's um, Pier Giorgio. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, the architecture, but Ducati is an amazing brand. It's the David and Goliath in the motorcycle racing. People know for, you know, for the sport, uh, for, for the racing, right? Yeah. But uh, you do a lot of other things. What is Ducati about? And maybe introduce yourself a little bit as well. Sure. Okay, my name is Pier Giorgio. I'm the Chief Information and Digital Transformation Officer at Ducati, whatever digital transformation means. I don't know if you know, but please send me an email in case. Um, well, uh, to describe Ducati, we usually use three words. There are style, sophistication, and performance. Uh, as we are here at the Community Cloud Keynote, I had also a passion, as Ducati and, and, and community has a lot to do with passion. Uh, we are an Italian company uh, fighting with the giants, uh, as you said, uh, but we are getting bigger. Uh, we are now selling more or less 55,000 bikes uh, in more than 90 countries. And we consider ourselves not just an automotive company. We are more about fashion entertainment, uh, as a Ducati is not just a, um, a vehicle, uh, but it's passion, it's entertainment, it's fun, uh, it's adrenaline, and it's also pride to own such a piece of art. Uh, as you said, our DNA is in racing. By the way, next weekend, we will have the last race of MotoGP and we are fighting for the championship. So please cheer for Dovizioso, Forza Dovi. <laughs> and let's see what happens. What we do is getting all the innovation uh, that we de develop uh, in the racetrack and we put in onto those bikes, no matter if it's a matter of performance or it's a matter of rideability, of safety and of electronics. It's fantastic. Um, Pier Giorgio, we started riding back in the days in which really the brand was about the motorcycle, right? But technology came along and now you, you experience the branding all day long through connected devices, connected communities. So there are challenges and there are opportunities. How do you think about it? Well, okay, we are uh, kind of focusing uh, our strategy, our digital strategy on four pillars. Uh, the first one is about our supply chain and factory. Uh, as a, I mean, we have to produce bike, and so that's an important that's engine a, that's good. For, for the company. Uh, the second one is ourselves, is the Ducati employee. We want uh, tools and systems like Community Cloud because we need to get smarter, uh, faster, and autonomous. We need a lot of speed, uh, a lot of mobile stuff if you want to compete. The third one is, of course, the bike. You talked about the connected bike. We want to, I mean, enrich and extend the experience uh, of the rider, not just when he's riding, but thanks to digital, we can uh, expand in time and space relationship with the bike just because she's connected, because she's a lady, uh, and has names sometimes. I don't know if you give names to your Yes, I do, but I'm not going to uh, share it with okay. you. <laughs> The, uh, the, uh, okay, and, and so connecting the bike means giving a digital soul uh, to the bike, and this means uh, having a, a bigger community. So not just Ducatisti, not just Ducati, not just our dealers, but also the bike in the community. The last pillar uh, is, of course, our uh, customers. We are lucky enough not to have just customers, but, but to have fans. Uh, and we want to know them, we want to have a 360 degrees view of the fans so that we can deliver the best uh, experience, the best services, the best content in the right moment. The Georgia, we've been very lucky, I've been very lucky to partner with you and, you know, um, start building and thinking it through all the experiences. But you are a season executive, uh, a season CIO. What's your experience uh, with Salesforce? Why did you choose Salesforce? Uh, why did you choose Community Cloud? Okay, well, with my team that's there, by the way, ciao guys, uh, we are working on what we call a, a Ducati G digital platform uh, upon some, again, pillars. Uh, it has to be data-driven, API-driven, uh, safe, uh, cloud, mobile, and so we, within that, uh, I mean, Salesforce and all the clouds, Salesforce are the right uh, partner to do that. Plus, as an IT manager, I want to be sure I'm not the bottleneck of the company. I want to be sure that I control something like data, like safety, like privacy, like some rules, but I want to be sure that the team in, uh, in Ducati can be fast, can be autonomous, can be lean, and can go after their business without me. 
Giorgio, we really can't thank you enough to be here and thank share you. all your experiences thank with you. us. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, here, Paolo, up here, Giorgio, you can't say that enough in one sentence. <laughs> that is true. I've heard that the ultimate way to experience Ducati is to go to a race. Oh, uh, yes. And I think we have something special. And do you want to tell everybody what that is? Uh, sure. Okay, so uh, being part uh, of a race, being in the race weekend is something that, uh, I mean, you can buy, of course, but if you want to be in the garage, to be with the team, to be in the place where nobody except Paolo and myself and some colleagues here can come, well, you have an opportunity, right? So you have to look under. Yep, well, so here's the deal. Somebody in this room is gonna win the ultimate Ducati experience. You're gonna get to go to a MotoGP race and get full, the full experience. Exactly. You get kind of the, the, the access, exactly. riders, able the to whole thing. With us. And I look under your seat, there should be a red envelope. And somebody here is gonna get that. I don't know where it is, actually. Somebody got the red envelope. When you get that red envelope, grab it and come on up to the stage and we'll get you all sorted out. Thank you so much, Pierre Giorgio and Ducati, for this Thanks. awesome experience. And, and Paolo, fantastic. Thanks. Love to see so you in much. that suit. Where is that red envelope? Somebody just... Don't please. be shy. Don't be shy. No, no, take it away. Wave it or come you. back in a minute. We can't wait to see who won that. Okay. Hey. All right. Thank you thank guys you. so much. Thank you. And I just have two last things. First, thank you to everybody. The Community Cloud Trailblazers, Farmers Insurance, Bill Melinda Gates Foundation, and of course, Ducati. What a great set of stories. We've learned so much. And also, if you want to see more, we got a lot more. Go and check out our Community Cloud Station just across the street. We have Ducati's here. We have Farmers Insurance there. We have all sorts of great stuff. And of course, the campground. Where is it? We got it. Oh, we got a winner grant. Fantastic. Come on right over here. We'll get you sorted out. Oh, you can come up on stage even. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. I hope you know how to ride a Ducati. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you guys. Thank you for everything. <laughs> you know, self force had to change my life. I wrote a blog post about this a few years ago that I was never expecting to go, I guess, viral, but it did. And the blog post is titled, The Best Thing I Built on Salesforce, My Career. And it's true. I was going to be the world's best pediatric surgeon. I went to school for business. I was not in this industry a couple of years ago. I went to school to be a lawyer. I was a cosmetologist and a hairdresser. If you would have asked me 15 years ago if I would have a career in technology, I would have told you you were crazy. You know, and it's not easy to put yourself out there. Think about what is it that makes you excited and happy and passionate. What is it that I really love? What, why do I like doing this stuff? Maybe your passion is veterans, and your passion might be retail, or if you're in banking, you can really take what you learn in Salesforce and you can apply it to any industry. That was an eye-opener for me. This is a huge universe. I can actually start to dream about what I want to do. The power of the Salesforce platform allows you to do so many things. You can do so much with it. I'm flying with Einstein! Woohoo! The sky is the limit. The limit is your imagination. We're going to bring our customer a level of service that is extraordinary. That's what it's all about. It's all about the customer. I can now talk to case study example after case study example of where, with Salesforce, we've been able to pull this off. That's exciting. That's where it's been life-changing. I never thought I had the ability to do that, and I think Salesforce has not only given me technical skills, it's given me confidence in myself to know that I can achieve these things. Being a trailblazer is coming out first and clearing the path for others. It's being the voice of the customer. You're giving them something that they're looking for. You're always making sure that the best technology is at their fingertips. These tools actually push me to figure out what the best is every day. All of that is not possible without an incredible tool like Trailhead.
The best thing about Salesforce and the smartest thing they've ever done is the community. It is phenomenal. The Trailhead community it just takes you wherever you need to go. I somehow found the user group and I went in there and I was actually hoping to pay somebody to help me and all these people helped me for free. I will never ever forget that feeling and I remember that experience and I try to recreate that for other people. It's an amazing example of what an ecosystem can really do when it bands together and focuses on how we can all make each other better. Where you can not only be proud of the work that you're doing, but the people you're doing it with. That's the magic of Salesforce. It's changed my life. It really has, and it's changed my company and the customers that I work with. When your customers are happy, your company's striving, and when your company's striving, you're truly at your best. You're at the top of your game. This is what I was meant to do my whole life. Being your best is not only having a great career, but it's enabling others to have a great career, and I think that makes me my best.